Yoda is knocking at the door. Jermaine, what brings you by today? Because we don't have another session scheduled until next week. Yeah, I know. Look, I'm sorry to show up unexpected like this, you heard me? But I got a lot on my mind. I need somebody to talk to about it. Oh, okay. Well, come on in. Close the door behind you. All right? Thanks. So, what's on your mind? Man, I don't even know where to start, you heard me? I'm just feeling real frustrated and furious right now. Well, why do you feel this way? Bruh, I just got done watching a show with my old lady called When They See Us on Netflix, you know what I mean? That shit was fucked up how they did them boys, you know what I'm saying? And I could barely make it through the first series. Cause that shit triggers so many memories for me. Okay. Well, what caused you to be triggered while you were watching the show? Bruh, it was a lot. Have you even seen it yet? Because I don't want to spoil the show for you if you haven't. Plus, if you haven't, then you won't even know what I'm talking about. I haven't seen it yet. However, I'm sure I'll be able to follow along. Yeah, okay. The first thing that pissed me off was how this cop rolled up on them fucking kids while they was just hanging in the park. Then this one pussy-ass cop gonna tackle the kid and burst his fucking head open with his helmet. That shit made me so fucking mad. Because the same shit happened to me when I was younger, this cop rolled up on me and my homeboys while we just posted up on the corner minding our business. He started harassing us and asking us for IDs, you hear me? And I say, we don't talk to cops. Then he hit me in the head with his baton and bust my fucking head open and arrested me for no reason. That's how I got the scar right here. You see it, Doc? Wow. Well, I'm sorry that you had to deal with that. So, what else triggers you? Man, it was a lot of shit. You really need to watch it so you know what I'm talking about, you hear me? Anyways, it was just fucked up how they handled these kids. Because they were minors, you know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers were interrogating these kids without their parents being there. Making them say all types of bullshit because they wanted someone to blame for raping this fucking white woman. Okay, and how did that make you feel? What? How the fuck you think it made me feel? I got fucking kids now. How the fuck would you feel while you sit here asking me shit like you're not fucking black, you hear me? I'm fucking pissed. Jermaine, you need to calm down and express yourself in a controlled manner like we talked about before. Man, I'm so fucking sick of motherfuckers trying to control me. Why can't I express myself how I want? Why everyone feel like they need to control a black man like we can't fucking think? For our fucking self. Jermaine, I understand. Doc, no disrespect, but you don't understand, man. You didn't have to grow up how I did. You a privileged black man. You don't know what it's like to wake up every day and not know where your next meal gonna come from because your mama working some dead-end job. I don't even know who my fucking father is because he never was around. 
And the only people who looked out for me were the hustlers in the hood. So they put me on so I could have some money in my pocket and be able to put some food on the table for me and my sisters. You ain't ever had to keep a gun on you for survival because somebody might try to rob you and catch you slipping. Doc, majority of my homeboys are dead, are in prison right now. And on top of all the fucking shit we had to deal with in the hood, we had to deal with the fucking police coming in and constantly fucking with us. They come by daily to get somebody. Man, do you know how many dirty fucking cops came and planted guns, drugs, and made up shit just to fuck with us? And then the news and everybody want to call us thugs and animals. What do you expect? Y'all put us in this environment. We're not thugs. We're not fucking animals. We're just trying to survive. Jermaine, I'm not privileged. I didn't have it easy coming up. However, I took control of my life and started making better decisions. And what you don't know is that I was adopted. I never knew who my parents were. I got shipped around from many different homes. And some of them were good and some of them were really bad. And I found myself spiraling down a dark road because I was filled with anger. I was angry because I didn't know who I was. I was lost. And unfortunately, we as humans learn quickly in two different ways. One is by repetition. Two is by something traumatic. And it took something traumatic for me to change my life. Like what? Well, I never told anyone this, but I think it might open your eyes. When I was a teenager, my friend and I decided to break into someone's house to steal whatever we could from them. We broke in, we was grabbing anything we thought was valuable, and suddenly we heard someone say, what are you doing? We panicked and took off running to get out the house. We heard gunshots as we ran away. I was running as hard as I could until I thought I was far away from the house. Then I looked back and realized that I was alone. What happened to your friend? Well, he never made it out the house because he got shot and died there. They never caught me because I was wearing gloves and a mask. However, I couldn't get over that for years because he didn't want to do it that night. I pushed him to do it. So I decided to change my life because I caused my friend his life. So I became a psychologist in order to help people change their lives before it's too late. Wow. I never would imagine that you would have been through something like that. Well, I had to learn how to love and value myself first. Understand that we go through and deal with a lot within our community, but nothing will improve or change until we start with ourselves. It doesn't matter what anyone else think whenever they see us. So 
So, can I read you something before we end today's session? Sure. It's called, When They See Us, What Do They See? by Jermaine Glass. When they see us, what do they see? They see an animal with no rights to enjoy and live life. But aren't these the same individuals that value an animal life over me? When they see us, what do they see? They see a threat because they're threatened by my every breath. And their only solution for me happens to begin and end with death. When I just want to be a scientist or a ninja or a comet or someone positive and influential that can change things. I'm just saying, why they're so threatened by me when all I got is dreams? When they see us, what do they see? They assume and expect the worst of me because no one's addressing their mental illness of not being able to accept the amount of melanin that was birthed to me. They want me to hate myself and feel like it's a curse to me. They want to poison my mind and my body. And I'm not saying that hypothetically. When they see us, what do they see? They see themselves getting filled with jealousy and envy because the royalty that they want was already born within me. So in their eyes, I'll forever be their enemy and they'll use any and everything to use it against me. When they see us, what do they see? But once you get past all the lies and deception that created their facade, the answer is simple. We're God.